I'm going to begin with the charting module since the uh, uh, chart uh, pops up when you install HGSI and I'll make it full screen and uh, I'm going to uh, point out a few things. First of all, the fundamental panel is at the uh, top of the chart and uh, the fundamental panel inclu includes revenue and earnings per share information and the percentages for the last eight quarters. It also includes what we call a scorecard, the earnings per share rank, RS rank or relative strength rank, group rank, and the three of those combined give us a number uh, which is called the ERG. It's a total of these three numbers. Now Apple is a leading stock because everybody loves Apple right now, but its EPS rank is not very high. That's because its earnings are inconsistent quarter to quarter and you can see that in this chart here. The uh, blue represents uh, the earnings and the red represents the revenue and uh, you can see the icons uh, right here. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, percent AD, it's A accumulation, anything above 60 is A, and then the uh, velocity of the, the accumulation and something called the old score which is a quarter to quarter earnings consistency and uh, uh, that's uh, a relatively low number. It's not a number that I really use much anymore. But uh, I like to uh, look at the uh, current quarter estimate and you can see that it's uh, uh, going to be up 5.26 percent uh, compared to the same quarter one year ago and then the following quarter is estimated to be up 11.27 percent. So there's a lot of information right here. Here's the uh, company name, symbol, the group, industry group, the sector, the major industry, the PE trailing 12 months, the 50-day average volume, highly liquid stock as you can imagine, trading uh, about uh, 27 and a half million shares per day. The earnings due date, which is very important, the percentage dividend yield, and uh, something called demand supply, uh, which uh, shows that it's uh, in more demand than there is supply right now. Uh, kind of a lagging indicator. But I want to point out that if you click on the down arrow over here on the right side, it takes you to other fundamental information uh, in the chart. You could look at the tremendous return on equity for Apple, almost 35%. I'm not going to go through all these fields. This is something you can look at on your own, but there are several uh, windows here, including a volume window and a description of the company. Now you can also find this information by go going over here to the report or some of the information and uh, if you just flip through here you'll find uh, a lot of the financial information. Now if you want to get rid of the fundamental panel you can remove it up here or you can right mouse click or click alternate U. There are shortcut keys here. Now I uh, if uh, the auto zoom is left on, or if you put it on auto zoom and go to a different symbol, TSLA, I'll go to Tesla because it's, it's near a high, it remains at this level. If I zoom in and then go back to auto zoom, it gives me the longer term view. I leave this deselected. And what I do is I use these shortcut keys to zoom in to the zoom in and zoom out. If you click on zoom, the shortcut keys come up over here. I use primarily alternate 1, 2, and 3. But you can use the alternate uh, plus plus to uh, zoom all the way in and plus minus to zoom out. Very handy though. I'm using alternate 1 here, and now 2, now 3, now 4. So you can see how quickly you can move around in the chart or with the chart. So let's just go back to AAPL. Bring that up and you can see that it is now holding the zoom. Now all of these uh, uh, little icons on here are part of the VPA or Volume Price Analysis which is integrated into the software. This is very powerful information. 
Uh, I'm not going to get into all this now, but uh, when the flags are below price, uh, those are bullish. And when they're above price, they're bearish. And it doesn't mean that the market's going to turn immediately when you see a bearish uh, flag. But in this instance, right here, bullish, bullish, and then a bearish. And what happened? We had a pullback, another bearish, bullish, and it took off again. Bearish, it paused. Bullish, it held support. Here's a test. And then uh, no supply. And look what happened. Apple took off. That information can be filled, found up here. When I click on uh, one of these uh, uh, colored uh, flags, you can see that uh, it gives me a description. Strength seen returning after a downtrend. And then this is the effort to rise flag. It gives me uh, the uh, best fit trend up uh, for the long, medium, and short term. And then the, this is another uh, uh, trending uh, calculator, a random walk, which I rarely use, but it's in there. A lot of information in here. In addition to the VPA flags, and by the way, the, this uh, uh, is uh, colored according to uh, the VPA uh, signals, or the I should say the candles are colored according to the VPA flags, and you have options to change that. Uh, looking uh, at this line right here, this line represents a group that's apples in this dotted line. And notice that it is going up. When we're going long, we like to buy stocks in groups that are going up because it, it uh, gives us a better chance of being right. Now down in uh, this portion of the chart, uh, this is called a warehouse indicator. You can put any information in here that you want to uh, to display. You can see that uh, it's looking for intraday information. So let's just do this. I'm going to go back into intraday. I'm going to enable intraday. And uh, I'll click on F5. And that should give us Apple's price today. Now here's the new bar which appeared, or the new candle. And you can see down here now that there there is intraday information. Uh, it's down 0.24 percent, and uh, that's for the day. Here's the intraday. Here's the intraday range. It's at 46 percent of its daily. And here's the uh, intraday volume compared to the 50-day moving average volume. You can see that the volume is very very light today. In fact, uh, you can hardly see the volume bar. So there's very little selling pressure on Apple today. And this is a percent close divided by the open, uh, which is a 0.18%. So you can put any information in here that you want, uh, as long as it's uh, what we call a warehouse field. And you'll learn what that is as you go along. Now you can see that I have a crosshair on here. And I'm going to right mouse click. And I'm going to um, bring open the data window. I can do this several ways. I could do use alternate I or I could click up here and this brings up the data window and you can see that there is a lot of information uh, in this uh, particular stock or in this particular window I should say. And as I move from day to day it gives me the uh, day and the price at that time, and uh, also uh, the volume price uh, VPA information is contained in here. Now, I don't open that window often, but it's nice to have. If I want to get rid of the crosshair, I can use alternate C or right mouse click and get rid of it. A couple more things in the chart that I want to point out. Uh, this is the volume window, and this is the moving average of the volume. Down here, uh, we have a window which uh, contains the relative strength. You can resize these windows, by the way. And th if this is going up, if the blue line is going up, uh, it represents the security in the top window. And it shows that uh, Apple is clearly outperforming uh, the S&P 500. And the red line is uh, a 30-day moving average of that. Look at this huge volume spike here on the gap up. I assume that was on earnings. 
and uh, it did not look back from that. This is a viable gap up. Uh, anyway, that is um, most of what's available in the charting module, and uh, now I'll move on to uh, the designer, and uh, then I will go to the uh, warehouse and uh, follow that up with the ranking module.